I'm Eric Knudsen, and you're on thesubstream.com. I always wanted to be a cop when I was younger, um, and I'm like five foot seven, so I wouldn't be a very good cop. <laughs> I also wanted to be a scientist. A part of me wants to work, have a job um, as an actor, get a really good part, and then just kind of have a different life. Um, I know, I think Daniel Day-Lewis is like that. He kind of has, he has a side job, like he said, he works at a factory, so I've heard. And I think that's awesome, that he's this amazing actor, and he has this factory job on the side. And I've always wanted to kind of do that. You work hard as an actor, but you also have a lot of downtime, so it'd be kind of cool to busy myself with something else. So, yeah, I mean, I would like to build things. I like working on cars. I like working with wood. So, yeah, there would be uh, definitely some interest there. This is an experimental encrypted frequency. How did you find this channel? Who is this? My name is Alec. Alec, what year is this? It's 2012. No, it is not 2012. What year are you from? 2077. You were not from 2077. Uh, I started acting when I was 10 years old, um, school plays when I was younger, and my teacher told me I should get into acting, so I did uh, Second City, and did that for a while while I was 10, and my teacher there kind of told me that I should get an agent, she introduced me to her agent, and that agent took me on, and I still have her, I'm 23 now, I've had her for 13 years. Most people always ask me how to find an agent, and that's a question that I can't really answer because I kind of was introduced to an agent, and it's hard because agents don't take on just new people because everyone wants to be an actor. So it's hard because with agents, they want someone who's had experience, and you can't get experience without an agent, so it's, it's a very hard thing. I think training is the best way to go. I have some letters that my dad gave me before he died, but I can't find them. My uncle must have thrown them out. I am so sorry. I can't imagine how hard that must have been on you. It's okay. I was really young, so I don't know much about them. At times, it, when it rains, it pours. All my jobs come in at once, and I have to pick and choose. But uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of auditions. Um, I was going through school at this sometimes, and coming home from school, doing my homework, and then studying for two auditions that I have that night. Uh, so you just keep work really hard, and uh, you'll get you'll get jobs eventually. What is your favorite scary movie, man? I'll show you. I think it's a benefit to be an actor based in Canada because you get to work here, and you get to work in the States. I mean, it's harder to get a work permit in the States, but uh, Canada has a lot of talent, and in the States, it's just oversaturated with people that are in the business, and you got tons of people that are my age that are going to these auditions. So in Canada, you have very slim pickings, and you have more of a chance of getting a role. You met a girl? She isn't just a girl. She's an angel. I got this book, Love Making for Advanced Gourmets. You know you're supposed to stick your pinky inside of a girl's bum hole. Can I borrow this for a bit? There might be one or two things in here I should know. My favorite role would be Lefty in Youth and Revolt. Um, because Michael Sarah came with me, or came to me with that role, and uh, he asked if I would do it. And I read the book, and I loved the book, and it was such a cool character, and uh, it's something I've never done before. Usually, I'm always the kid whose mom dies, and I'm always crying and stuff, and I'm, I have a whimpering lip, and that was something so new for me. So I had to kind of get this character down. And uh, it was fun, it was a challenge, and it was the biggest challenge I've ever faced, and uh, it was great working with Michael. What is it with you? Huh? Are you a tough guy because you're stale now? Please save him the after-school special. Why are you such a cop 24 Hey, it's called being a father. Trust me, you're better at being a cop. I just think I should go back to mom's early. What did you say? What, can you not hear me? No, I can't hear you. Say it again. I think I should go back to mom's... Well, then go! Um, when I worked on Saw 2, um, we had to shoot that in 20 days. And we had worked like 16-hour days. It was nuts. And um, 
if you've seen Saw 2, I have to be, I'm, we're being constantly poisoned by gas slowly. So eventually as the, the days go on, I'm supposed to be getting sicker and sicker. And I got the flu during that shoot and uh, I was dying. Like I was literally dying. I, I, when I had a break, I would have to go do tutoring for five hours. <clears throat> so when you actually see me in Saw 2, it's mostly not makeup, it's mostly me literally dying of the flu. Um, I felt horrible and it, I guess it worked for me, so uh, it's a little side story there for you. The song is called, I Am So Sad. I am so very, very sad. It goes a little something like this. Thank you. My advice to aspiring actors is to just, if you really love it, then uh, stick to it. The best advice I've ever had was from Brittany Murphy. I did a movie with her when I was young um, called Common Grounds. And she told me, she goes, when you act, you have that fire in your belly. As long as you have that fire in your belly, use that to continue and propel you forward. If you lose that fire, then the passion's gone and you're not gonna enjoy your job. So. I still have that fire, thank God, and uh, it was good advice. It sucks sometimes. It's a really hard job uh, because you never know when your next job's going to be. You never know when you're going to get your next paycheck. Um, so it's it's frustrating because you work so hard, and then someone tells you you're not good or you're just not getting jobs. But just if you stick to it and you really, really love it, and you have that fire, then uh, you know you'll go places. Continuum premieres Sunday at 9, only on Showcase.